today we are going to take up uh, the animal which is living surviving very the best in desert and it is camel right as you can see uh, in this camel i have highlighted the main points we are going to cover the points the adaptive features are is what makes the camel survive in its desert because we have seen in our previous video that the habitat conditions in deserts are very dry very uh, less rainfall and water is there so this animal is the best example where you are going to see how the animal is adapting well to its habitat right so let us focus one by one i am focusing sub firstly towards its mouth section right first let's go to the eyebrow eyebrows are thick eyelashes they are also very heavy long eyelashes are there and at the time when the sandstorm is there lot of sand is rushing in then it can it is able to close its nostrils so these three features the thick eyebrows the long eyelashes and the ability to close its nostrils ability to close its nostrils is very well done during the sandstorm so it is going to prevent itself from the sandstorm now let let us focus on the thick lips these particular portion these three will save it from the sandstorm and this is thick lips they help this animal to eat the cactus the thorny cactus now let us get back to its back the hump hump is basically the reservoir of the fatty tissue so whatever extra it is going to eat it is going to store it in its hump at the back there is a hump the skin of the camel it can withstand what high body temperature changes that is 34 degree to 42 degree celsius roughly and it goes with less sweating so sweating is less skin is thick so loss of water is prevented here now let's focus on its leg portion the long legs keep this body away from the sand heat so this length is going to help him wide feet it helps them to walk easily on sand on sand when it comes to us we are going to sunk down in this sand but this camel is easily walking in the desert reason it has the broad feet i have taken some points here also that when it comes to uh, urine and it comes to dung the dung is very dry in the case of uh, camel and this animal basically excretes very less urine though it gulps down lot of water but the case of urine it is going to pass out less urine so that definitely the purpose of saving water is done so let us highlight certain points here the long eyelashes the long ear hairs it is capable of closing their nostrils thick lips so that it can eat easily the thorny plants these are going to protect them from the sandstorms we are just recapping the what we have understood from the diagram the back is to, is having the hump which is going to store fat the skin is thick because it is going to prevent loss of water it can drink lot of water at one time and store it comfortably in its body sweats less so this is how it is going to bank on its water then long legs because it keeps the heat of the sand away from the body then the broad padded feet so that it can walk easily on the sand i hope dear students you have understood the adaptation of camel we have completed the topic habitat of desert the camel and the cactus thank you